talking about how Israel was out there saying that uh, Israel and the United States had brand new intelligence just out of the shrink wrap, that Iran was much closer to a nuclear bomb than anybody had ever thought before. And again, it was this rah-rah, you got to go kill them for us. Well, amazingly enough, the United States, uh, the Obama administration has issued a statement saying that uh, actually no, there is no new intelligence. And the official position of the United States of America is that Iran is not on the verge of a nuclear weapon and that Iran has not made the decision to actually build one just yet. And this is the U.S. government actually standing up to Israel and saying, uh, no, we, we, we think you're kind of full of it, which is not too surprising because I'm sure the U.S. government is smart enough to realize that the American people know they were lied to about Iraq's weapons of mass destruction, and they're not going to take anybody's word about Iran's weapons of mass destruction, especially ahead of the election here. Now, we're hearing from inside Israel, that Netanyahu is pushing for a war with Iran right now. He's trying to beat his own September elections, which he's probably not going to do very well in if he doesn't have a war to wave around. But his own cabinet is saying, we don't think this is a really good idea. And so the the, the rush to war with Iran has definitely hit a pothole. Of course, there's still the wild card. There's still the Samson option where Netanyahu could set off a nuclear bomb either at the Olympics, which are closing uh, this weekend, or some, Iran did it, you should go kill them for us. That's always a very real possibility when you have a world leader with absolutely no conscience at all and uh, is feeling very cornered and desperate. Because remember, when Netanyahu is no longer the head of state, he too, like Sarkozy,